Hey guys, this is JJ Interviews and we're interviewing um, As Paradise Falls. Please introduce yourself, your role in the band, and say something about yourself that nobody knows. Yep. I'm Ravi, I'm the vocalist, and Danny once held my dick on tour. Hey guys, my name's Christian, I play drums for the band. Um, you may not know that I fuck the country. Hey, my name's Jod. I play bass in As Paradise Falls, and I've only been in the band for about four months. Yeah, that was pretty gay. My name's Danny, and I play guitar. I have a side project. It's called Little Caramel. Okay. How did the band come together? Um, Danny and I were both in garage bands, and then got together sexually, and then found other people to join us sexually. And that's why we've got these guys. I joined these little bitches about a year ago uh, when they were recording. So yeah, yeah. Recording go. Yeah, I aced it in like one day. What's your favourite thing about being in a band? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> I like to play shows for people. Yeah, yeah, what he said. I like to play with people. <laughs> How did you come up with your band name? Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I play lots of games, so I was playing Fallout 3, and there was a place that was like, had a nice name, it was like Paradise Falls or something, and then I got there and it was all fucked up, so I thought, because we look like nice girls, and then we're kind of fucked up, so that's why we're that. You! Yeah. Is there any band or artist you'd like to tour or collaborate with? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Um, well, one of my favourite bands is... Oh, there's a few, actually. Suicide Silence. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. I'll say another one, Jamiroquai. Oh, <laughs> and um, Sugar. I would probably love to play with Art as Murder. That'd be sick. Mm -hmm. uh, Born of Osiris, just because of uh, technicality. Use the big word. <laughs> no. <laughs> For those people who don't know your band, briefly describe yourselves in five words. Uh, wait, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll do two. You do two? You do three. You do three and I'll do two. Really fucked up. Man children. <laughs> nice. Is there any embarrassing songs you secretly like? Basically anything I like. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. I, li I like um, Jamiroquai. And I like... I can't, all the bad ones have gone out of my head. What's one? There's a few. They're awesome. <laughs> what has been your proudest moment in the band? Probably doing our first Australian tour, that was pretty sick, and also playing New Zealand, that was really cool. Um, probably recording my first music video with a band, uh, that was Equilibrium, you can check it out on YouTube. You got any? Um, getting to play guitar tonight instead of bass. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the band, bye. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, um, yeah, nah, they summed it up. If you were a superhero, what superhero would you be? Super tall. Um, I would have an average sized penis and not the minute thing that is my own. Is that a superhero? Power? Superhero. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Pass. Um, I would be Spider-Man so I could leave sticky messes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I can't top that. <laughs> What have you learned from being in a band? You make no money. You spend all your money, but you have fun and you get to play with children. There's literally no groupies. <laughs> <laughs> no groupies. John's my groupie. Do you have any embarrassing childhood memories? My dad didn't pull out fast enough. <laughs> um. <laughs>
What goes on behind backstage rehearsals? It's actually semi-productive. We usually um, play our songs and then we get bored of them after one set. And then we maybe film some stuff, um, talk about the direction of the new music which we're writing, and we uh, plan any future shows, shows, <laughs> tours and shows. Wow, that was weird. But that's basically what we do, and it's fun. Show us as a whole your signature cool band member pose when you're trying to impress the ladies or men. I got the one off um, Zoolander. Well, uh, Blue Steel. Yeah, I know. I don't know. But yeah, it's one of them. I reckon I could pull it off. Like, in the moment, in the moment. Not, yeah. not now, because I'm nervous. <laughs> if you could trade places with one person in your band for a day, who would it be? Glenn, because he's in fucking Hawaii. Pat, he's a lighting guy. <laughs> Glenn, who's not actually with us at the moment, he's in Hawaii because he was the first man to have a legal gay marriage so he's on a nice little holiday with his man he's not actually but he's not here I need my father uh, I would be Danny because of small man syndrome <laughs> yeah um, I'd be John because I've always wanted to be ginger <laughs> What has been the best and worst show you have played? So many bad ones. <laughs> um, best show, well, two of the best shows, probably playing with Thy Art, that was really cool. Or Attila, that was mad. And the worst show was probably the last Newcastle show we played. It was sick, but it was like the worst setup we've had, I think. Uh, we two a Molotov Solution last November, and um, yeah, those all those shows were sick. Uh, we went to New South Wales, and yeah, they weren't so good. So it was a bit contrasting. Mm -hmm. yeah, Do you agree? Like said, yeah. yeah, I agree with that. Cool. Um, have you ever had any embarrassing moments on stage? Yeah. yeah. I nearly shot myself. I did a very low guttural scream while squatting down, kind of, and my body thought it was time to poo, but it was not time to poo. Do you want more? <laughs> I, I don't know how more sciencey to go. Mine's a bit more serious than that. That's a serious <laughs> problem. <laughs> uh, just dropping sticks. It's it, it's natural, but yeah, it happens. Yes. Yeah, just like. General like breaking strings, dropping picks, dropping guitars. Jesus. How did you get in the band? <laughs> um, one time we did a photo shoot all day in um, somewhere and it was in the sun all day. We had really bad sunburn. So we were playing the show that afternoon and I think I was jumping or something and I just fell over into my cab and it blacked out for a little second and got back up and that's what happened. It was weird. What is your zombie plan? Oh, zombie plan, I got this. Yeah. Gonna fuck shit up. <laughs> nah, um, near me, there's a Woolies and there's a um, gun shop right near each other. So I'm gonna go to the beach. <laughs> okay, you got one? I've been uh, watching that Russian guy on YouTube. He's pretty crazy. All I need is the weapons though. FPS Russia. Yeah, FPS Russia. Check him out. Just fucking run. Like, <laughs> just leg it. They all walk real slow and they're stupid to look at, so you just leg it. Shit my pants. <laughs> Do you have any tips for people wanting to start a band? I've got so many tips. Yeah? Not band tips. <laughs> Slip them one tip. <laughs> I've, I'll, I'll, I'll take this one because I'm semi. semi. semi serious. <laughs> That's all. Um, I guess go to shows, network if you're not coming local band and just um, write good music not shit <laughs> yeah and then uh, focus on your live performance when you're playing shows make sure you take note of uh, the crowd response and 
you know, go from there, meet people, get advice. It's good. Don't be a cocksucker. Um, don't try to talk yourself up too much, just especially if you haven't released anything. Wait till you've recorded and done all that kind of stuff and then bring it out because then people actually give a fuck and pay attention to what you're doing. Otherwise, this just looks like you've made a page about nothing. Danny said go to a good producer and keep doing shit songs. <laughs> no, he didn't. He said go do good songs. Do you have one? Um, yeah, just be totally confident in the music you write and hopefully everything works out for you, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Do you have any new musical shows coming soon? Yeah. New musical shows coming soon. Shows. We're in the theatre. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, we started writing new music. We got like five songs or something. I have five. <laughs> None of them are good. They're all going to be deleted. Nah, they're going pretty good. Um, new shows. Yes, we got some plan for mid year going um, overseas somewhere. Um, in the next month or so, we got, we're got we going to Tasmania. It's going to be good. But um, that's not very new, that's already announced. So, yeah, cool. Cool. And lastly, do you have any messages you would like to give t out to your fans? Why are you at me? Yeah. Uh, thanks for all the uh, support so far. Um, heaps of people have been buying merch off our website. Um, all the money's going back into buying new merch. And yeah, keep coming to our shows and. Bye. <laughs> Please stop coming to our shows. <laughs> you make us all feel very uncomfortable when you speak. We don't know what else to say except thank you, no, yes. Would you like to make it up? Anyone that comes to a show and is not boring, I like you. Even the boring people, if you come into the show, it's still pretty cool, I guess. Hopefully this microphone can't pick up what Ravi just said. Uh, just a big thank you to everyone who's ever come to a show or bought merch or listened to or downloaded songs. Cool. Yeah. Uh, this, this is, is the best. <laughs> this has been JJ Interviews. Keep smiling, stay positive and rock on.